Good afternoon. I'm Sergeant First Class Michael Stewart, basic training coordinator for the Georgia State Patrol, also the Trooper School coordinator for the Georgia State Patrol. Uh, should you decide to take on this adventure, uh, there's going to be a PT assessment that you're going to have to do as part of the hiring process. What we're going to do today is I'm joined by Corporal Mejia and TFC2 Parker. Uh, we're going to do a brief demonstration of what we expect when you come to a PT assessment uh, for this process. First things first, do not let this fool you. This is going to be the simplest of simple that we've asked you to do. This will not prepare you for trooper school. This will just get you to uh, the assessment part and hopefully through the assessment part for the hiring process. Okay, the first exercise that we're going to do for the PT assessment is the sit-ups. You're going to be required to do 30 proper sit-ups in 60 seconds. A captain or lieutenant will be keeping the time clock. They'll give you the command of begin. On the command of begin or start or wherever they say, you're going to come up. When you come up, your elbows need to touch your knees or break the plane of your knees. What we're not looking for and what is not acceptable is when you come up and your elbows touch your mid thigh, that's not gonna work. You'll hear the instructor count one, two, three for every proper sit up that you do. If the number repeats itself, three, 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 that tells you you need to readjust, evaluate, and fix the problem that you're having that goes against what our demonstration is. A couple key points here. Your hands will be cupped behind your ears, not interlocked behind your head, not wrapped around your neck, cupped behind your ears and will stay cupped on your ears at all times. You'll come up, that'll be one. You'll fall back down, you come back up, that's two. You'll fall back down. Another thing we're not looking for is the thrusting of your hips. It's not acceptable to get you up, won't count. If your hands come off your ears and you throw your hands forward to come up, doesn't work. Your hands stay cupped on your ears at all time, elbows touch your knees or break the plane. Another key thing to remember is when you rest, you rest in the up position like so. You're not resting on the downside down here. You got 60 seconds to do 30. Don't thrust your hips to get up. Don't take your hands off your ears. Do 30 good ones. All right, should you successfully pass the sit-up portion of the PT assessment, you'll move on to the, PT, to the push up portion of the PT assessment. Here you're gonna be looking for 21 proper push ups in 60 seconds. Again, the captain or lieutenant will be keeping time. They'll give you the command to start or begin. You'll begin in this up position like so. You'll come down. For males, your chest will touch the top of the fist of the instructor that's using, that you're using as your assessor. For females, we have a four inch sponge here. Same size as fist. For females, we'll use this. Your chest will touch the sponge depress the sponge a little bit and come back up to the top. A couple things we're looking for here. Fully locked out on the up and, and all the way down on the downside. If you rest, you rest in the up position like so. You keep your knees up, your back is straight and flat, um, and you listen for the commands and the count. One, two, three. Again, if you hear the number over and over again, that tells you that you're not doing something right. Reevaluate the way you're doing it and correct the mistake. If you rest, you rest in the up position like so. By this portion of it, you've already passed your sit-ups, you've already passed your push-ups. Uh, the next phase and the last phase of this will be a mile and a half run. Uh, I'm standing on a track, it's a quarter mile track, you'll do six laps. The time we're looking for is 15 minutes and 34 seconds. Anything less than that is passing, anything uh, later than that is failing. A couple things to remember. Um, if you happen to go to a field assessment with a recruiter, they'll have a track of similar distance or a known distance uh, of a mile and a half uh, distance for you to run on. If you happen to come to Forsyth, you'll be on a track just like this. Um, you'll do six laps total. On your seventh lap, you'll have to walk a lap on the outside just to gain uh, your comp composure and, and rest. Um, I want you to remember a couple things. The things that you've seen today, the demonstrations that you've seen, the numbers that go along with them and the times are nothing compared to what's going to be expected of you uh, upon your arrival at Trooper School. Thank you for your opportunity. Look forward to seeing you for future Trooper Schools.